And when you're ready to submit your photography assignments, not like the practices, like learning how to do some of the competitions, but out of class assignments, like to do a club or to do an event or like um, a human's voice, like one of the interview things. What we're looking for is submission through StudioWorks itself. Because when you submit as a PDF on Canvas or Managebox or something else like that, the quality is downgraded when we're converting it into a PDF for that upload. I mean, the quality looks decent in there, but you can't really pull out the original. It's optimized for that specific size, and so extra data that it doesn't need that would allow the image to be larger and print quality is gone. So the best way to submit it is through StudioWorks. The reason we didn't do this earlier was because it took a month and a half for them to approve our contract that's been the same contract for the past five years. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to first launch StudioWorks. So on your machine, you should have this blue StudioWorks icon. If you don't, let me know and we'll come and install it for you, but it's on most of the machines already. So you're going to launch that. You're going to log in, which you should already know how to do from one of the previous videos. And when you log in, you'll see this, and you should already be familiar with this from one of the previous videos. So we're just going to go to Pages, and we're going to find our page, whatever page is assigned to us for us to drop our photos on. For right now, just as an example, I'm using page 143. So you'll need to find whichever page is assigned to you. If you don't know which page is assigned to you, then ask. So I'm going to go here, and this is what I had used on one of the earlier videos to kind of talk about sort of how this works. So when your page is blank, like so, what you're going to do is you're going to drop in the contents. And instead of having to create the layout itself, because that's not really important, you're just going to import a module. So that way it saves you time so you can focus on really the parts that you are supposed to be doing. So to do that, we're just going to go over here to content, which we've seen before. And instead of looking here in my content, which is where you see the photos that you've uploaded, we're instead, general staff uploads, we're instead going to go switch from my content into modules. And inside modules, we will see these here. So we have an 8-up, we have a 12-up, we have a 20-up, and we have a Humans of Waste. So if you've gone to your events or your club and you had 8 really nice photos, granted 10 would be better, but if you only had 8 really nice photos, then drop this one in. And you can drop it in and make sure it fits on the page, like so. Right now it's all grouped together here from the module, but we can just right-click and tell it to ungroup. And now we have each one of these separate and then we could switch from modules back to my contents and add in the photos that we had uploaded. So we could go in and find whichever we feel are the best ones with our captions beneath it. Now, right now, these might look a little grainy and maybe not that great. If you're concerned, if you're not sure, if maybe the quality was not so great, what you can do is you can always save it, and you can go to Manage, and you can click down here on Better Proof, and then you can see here. If they look grainy here, then they will look grainy when they print. But if they look good here, which they look pretty good, then they will look fine when they print. That is in contrast to what I had before, where we had, let's see, do I still have them in here? Yeah, summer photos. These ones that were downscaled or downsized, since I had saved them from the internet instead of from my actual camera, if we compare, and do better proof once again.
you can see that they aren't quite the same level of quality. So if you compare Juan here, if you compare him here to this bird, the bird looks not as crisp and not as clear, and you should be able to see a little bit of the JPEG artifacts around it. You can really see them there, significantly less clear than our image here. And you can also see that here with these, a little bit of JPEG artifacts around it, a little blurry, not as clear as these. Not only that, but when the editors decide to use the images, this image currently is only at 18% of its actual size, whereas this one is already at 64%. So if I need to zoom in on this because maybe it's too small, I can't really zoom in that much before it starts approaching 100% like so. Whereas this one, even if I really want to zoom in on him here, I'm still only at 26%. And so I can really zoom in and get a really close shot if I want to. And if we once again save, and look at the quality difference. You can definitely see a difference here between the quality and the clarity and the sharpness still of this image versus the lack of sharpness here and some of those JPEG artifacts. So going back to this, what if I have more than eight photos, which would be ideal. Hopefully you have more than eight photos. So if we go to content and we go back to modules and we go to my modules. So we not only have the eight up here, but we also have a 12 up. So you can see with 12 spots already prepared for you. Once again, you have to ungroup it because they're all grouped together from the module. And we also have a 20 up if you really got a lot of nice photos. And if you're between like the 12 and the 20, then pull the 20 over and then just get rid of the ones you don't need. So maybe I only have 16, so I could get rid of these four. But you shouldn't have less than eight. You shouldn't be getting rid of any on, on the eight if that's where you are. Otherwise you need to go shoot again. And even eight isn't that great. If you're doing an interview, and some portraits of the person you interviewed, then you would be looking for this Humans of Waste module down here, which have plenty of spots for the portraits. And you might not have as many as eight, you might only end up with, actually this is 10, you might not have that many, you might only have five, so you can move the other ones. But you should have at least five. If not, then you need to take some more shots of your subject. And you can type in the story here, and if you haven't looked up Humans of New York before, you should look into it to see sort of an, a good example of what we're looking for. When you're done, make sure that you save it here. Of course, also make sure that on each one of these that you're replacing it with your name or what the events or club or student organization is, and of course you're replacing all the captions. But once all this is good and you fix this and that and these, then you'll save it. And you should see it show up here in the thumbnail. And then you can close and you can log out and you're good.